Hey guys, welcome. This video, I'm going to show you a quick um, but really beneficial exercise to help you visualize the modes and hear their characteristics. If you're new to the channel, go on and smash that subscribe button and the bell icon so you know when the next video comes out. Let's get into it. So I was going over this with a, uh, with a student of mine yesterday, and this is, you know, uh, I, I think a cool exercise. I like to think about modes as um, the same way that you would think about crayons, the color, you know, crayons in a box of crayons, right? Each one of them has their own color and, uh, and uh, character, right? So here it is. Let me just, let me just skip, to the, skip to the chase here. We're going to do this in the key of G, and um, uh, I'll actually transcribe this a little bit later on and then, and then put up a PDF, but I don't have that right now. And... Uh, yeah, I just want to get this out. So the key of G, here's the f first mode, Ionian. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm going up that mode. There's a little, a little melody, right? And then I'm playing, so I wind up on the, the tenth, in this case, a major tenth. And then I'll play the, the root of that chord. All right, so this is a double stop or a dyad, just two notes. So it's not a, not a full chord, but you get the sound, right? Now I'm going to go to Dorian, but I'm going to stick with Dorian in the same fingering, shift, right? So you, you hear the, the, the color of each one of these modes, but I'm visualizing sort of two modes in the same hand positioning. So Ionian, Dorian, shift that's two modes I covered um, basically in one position I did shift and I used my first finger to shift okay also don't feel like you have to get so caught up in memorizing the names of these modes I meet a lot of people and they're like oh, I know the modes or whatever and it's like nah you know the names of the <laughs> of the modes you know what I mean so uh, I think it's more practical for you to to get what they sound like and where they are than to just memorize them. An example I'll use of that is, you know, language, right? We all know our ABCs and we all know it's 26 letters. We can sing the ABC song or whatever, but none of us really thinks about that uh, when we speak, right? If, if, if I ask a lot of people, well, what's a preposition? What's an adjective? What's, you know, some, some of us may have to think, including me, uh, or go Google, like, what is this technical term, right? But we don't think about that when we're talking. So anyway, enough about that. Let's go to the next mode. We did Ionian, we did Dorian, um, and I remember them just because I've, I've said it so much, right? Um, but I never, like, force myself to commit that to memory. Um, I'll talk more about that in another video. So here's the next mode. It's Phrygian. Okay, so I wound up on the minor tenth there, and then I played the root of that chord. Now I'm going to also visualize Lydian. That was two modes in one area. Now I'm going to go to Mixolydian. From there, I'm going to go to Aeolian, the sixth scale degree. Sorry. Shift. And this one is really cool to me because that 
you hear the the major the tonality of the major scale when you reach the G, right? But then when you put when you put the 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 six on the bottom, it all of a sudden sounds uh, more me- more moody, more melancholy because that's the six, right? That I'm not going to go down this rabbit hole, but that leads us into the into the idea of chord families and how different chords function. So uh, one and six, and what I'm I'm going to tell you to put this in your mental Rolodex for uh, for later. But one and six are in what we call the tonic family. They are often uh, interchangeable, uh, substituted for for one another. So if, like if you play, uh, if you play in church, for instance, and you hear somebody go to the six when you think you're going to go to the one and all of a sudden it has a different, a different kind of feeling, you know what I mean? Um, it, it's, it's also one of those places where I've noticed people cry um, when they get to, when they replace that one chord with the six chord. Anyway, enough about that. Back to the exercise. That's a whole nother story for another time. So this is where we left off. Now we're at the seven, which is Locrian. Oops, I messed up. Uh, This one I did. uh, There's Locrian, which is half diminished if I were adding the fifth. then we have Ionian again. So I'm going to do the whole thing now without talking. I'll do it uh, fairly slow. So that's in the key of G. Don't feel like you got to do that at the at breakneck speeds. Take your time and hear those. If you wanted to spend time just in this mode. random stuff. You could spend time going between just two modes um, and then spend time going in between three modes and then expand it. Um, What happens is you start to see, you start to really see this. G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. You start to see the scale uh, horizontally and vertically, right? Um, but don't just stay at at G. Then you can do this in, you know, you can do this in all 12 keys starting right across the um, right across the E string. So for instance, let's say I'm in the key of C. Here's 
Dorian. Phrygian. Lydian. Oops. Mixolydian. Now, absolutely can do, uh, sorry, but let's say you go backwards and you want to see that over here. Well, A is uh, the six of C, right? So instead of me going all the way up there, I could do it here. How did I do that before? I'm sorry. I started that on my fourth finger. So. Here's lit Mixolydian in C. Right? I could do Lydian. I'd have to change my fingering a little bit. I can do Lydian here. Mixolydian, Lydian, I'm sorry, Aeolian, Locrian, and then Aeolian. So try that out, it's, you know, um, not, uh, not super hard exercise, but definitely as you change keys and move around and, and things like that, you'll start to open up your, uh, open up your, your, your visual understanding of the neck and your harmonic understanding of the key. So, you know do it in every key and just take your time so much so many times we want to just go really fast and and we want the licks and we want all that stuff but there's a you know none of us you know starts driving on the freeway at at 80 miles an hour we all start you know white knuckled in in the parking lot or or wherever you know i know some of you country folks like myself might have started out in the field somewhere um, you know but but most people start learning how to drive really slow and deliberately so that's what i would suggest that you do with this thanks for watching the video again if you're new to the channel go on and subscribe if you like this content subscribe hit the bell icon and uh, i put out a video every week at least once a week so um i hope to see you in the next video all right peace two fingers